So Republicans ran on the promise to defund Planned Parenthood, half a billion dollars a year of taxpayer money. Remember that? That was a 2016 election. Correctional Republicans haven't really tried hard to do that. That has not stopped the administration, though, from taking its own kind of action on the question. The administration is attempting to tweak Title X funding formulas to divert federal funds away from Planned Parenthood, the country's largest abortion provider. Sonia Sorio is the president of the New York chapter of the National Organization for Women. She says the real goal of defunding Planned Parenthood isn't to prevent taxpayers from funding something they abhor, abortion. It's to force women to get pregnant. Sonia Sorio joins us tonight. Sonia, it's great to see you. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Well, Tucker, if you take away the access to abortion and you take away uh -huh. birth control, which is a really big issue that we've got to discuss here tonight, you are indeed forcing uh -huh. women to have children. <laughs> now, let's, let's get I'm back to your point. I, I wonder how many people actually, but I mean, I think most of our viewers know that what you're saying is pure lunacy and dishonest, and you do too, but let's just sort of, just for fun, Reverse engineer this for a second. So, who is taking away the right to have an abortion? I think the law, I don't think I know because I just I read it, the proposed regulation change would just make it less likely that taxpayers have to pay for abortion. Is that the same as banning no, abortion? Let, let's be really clear, and this is something, and it's really the reason, Tucker, that I wanted to come on your show tonight because I needed to dispel uh -huh. this myth. People need to understand, uh -huh. I want all the viewers to understand. Your taxpayers do right. not pay for abortions in this country. Taxpayers oh. do not pay for abortions. They don't. They well, don't. But they do give a half a billion dollars to the exception. largest Your taxpayers do pay for abortions. If, on the content. If, right. In the case of rape and if a woman is dying. Those are the two situations okay. since 1977. Okay. Because no, no, of the no. Hyde Amendment. I mean, look, you're, in you're, which... you're, 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 hold on, you're, you're spewing propaganda here. It's like, <sighs> we pay taxpayers at gunpoint half a billion to Planned Parenthood, which provides, commits more abortion than anybody else in the country. So I don't think you should fungible. joke about They say it doesn't gunpoint. pay, I'm not joking. You just talked well, about gunpoint. Gun gunpoint. Don't, it don't... Is it, what is it, gunpoint? If you don't pay your taxes, they come and arrest you. The cops arrest you. So you don't pay your taxes voluntarily. You do it because the government backs it up with a threat of force. What That's everybody should fact. also I'm understand, not, not if you give me a moment to speak, to, if what everybody should understand okay. also is Planned Parenthood works just like any other medical provider. They don't, they get reimbursed for the procedures they perform that are approved by the government. So they get, they get um, a reimbursement for an STD testing. They get reimbursed for all okay, those other services okay. they do, but not for okay, abortion. But, but I want to, I want to take a moment to talk about what, what is, is happening. But hold on, you've taken a lot this. of moments to talk. So let me just ask you one question, which is, <laughs> We've got four minutes. you're for They're abortion. Down to two. You think, you think abortion is a constitutional right. I think the right to bear arms is because I've read the Bill of Rights. Why shouldn't taxpayers be forced to subsidize the NRA or buy my guns? Now, who is talking lunacy? And who is being dishonest? Well, why is that, you why is that crazy? Here, you you think taxpayers should pay for an abortion? <laughs> you're, you're giving me the moral lecture, but just answer my question. I think it's an interesting question. I want, I want viewers to know that one in four women in this country have an abortion. You're not going to answer my question. All kinds of women. I'm I not guess. answering your question, no, because it's a stupid Why? question. I think it's a really interesting want, question. Oh, because it's causing you to enlarge question. your I've mind and, and it hurts. I've got an opportunity to speak to your viewers, and I'm trying to speak to them. One in four women but have an abortion in this country. Uh, yeah, no, that has gone I, down. I think from I get to answer the question, three. Sonia. It's, really it's gone funny. down from one in three. Okay. The reason why it's gone down yeah, well, is because we've had teen pregnancy prevention programs that have been successful. No, no, but that. And right now, the Trump administration wants to divert two hundred and fifty million dollars. This is why I never like to talk to the abortion people because they just shout pregnancy right. programs oh, don't make me cut you off please they're gonna they want to divert that to abstinence only education all right, all right sonia let's i tried it was a good faith effort i really tried i hate cutting people off but you were just too obnoxious